Hi, I'm David N. Weiss, screenwriter from Hollywood, California. So happy to be joining you all. Let's talk tonight about the first commandment. I am the Lord your God, who has brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. It all starts there. I got into this business because I was a nervous kid who needed attention. I needed to know that there was a reason to be on the earth, and when I was growing up, I didn't really understand anything about faith or God or religion. I just discovered very early on that if I was putting on a show and people were laughing, I felt better about the fact that I didn't know why I was here. And things that were overwhelming, like the fact that life went on for infinity in the universe, but I myself was finite, that frightened me. The whole fear of death thing was big for me as a kid. So I discovered that when I was putting on a show, I felt happy and I felt great. The problem was you can't always put on a show, at least not without getting thrown out of school. And, um, and also the audience doesn't always like the show and you don't have control whether you get the part. And it was just too unpredictable. And I found myself getting more and more nervous and more and more anxious. And then later I discovered the teachings of Rabbi Torsky, who was a renowned uh, expert in recovery and in addictions. And I had a lot of friends in Hollywood who suffered with various dependencies. So I learned more about that. And uh, sure enough, the number one way to recover uh, according to the 12-step programs is to start also with the first commandment, which is you got to acknowledge you have a higher power. I'm overwhelmed, and that part was easy for me. That's the first step in recovery. And the second step is I came to believe in a power greater than myself that could help restore me to sanity. What is it about uh, leading me out of the land of Egypt? What does Mitzrayim mean anyway? It means a constriction or a narrowness. But God came with the, with the first commandment to, to remind us, hey, I'm not just a God that's out there in space. I'm the God that actually reached into a nation and pulled another nation out through signs and wonders and miracles and relieved you and released you from the house of bondage. And all of us are in some sort of a bondage. I was in bondage to my fear. I would wake up every morning just terrified of, oh my gosh, I'll never be able to write something that's going to that's gonna sell or that the boss is gonna like or that's gonna get my family fed. And then I had to look inside and go, wait a second. I claim that there's a God and yet I don't trust in him. And our, our sages were very wise about that. In the Elenu prayer, which we say at the end of all the davening, there's a beautiful little passage that sounds very much like a verse from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It says, you shall know this day that I am God and you shall take it and put it in your heart. Take it and put it in your heart. So how do I start my day? I start my day with the moda ani. Moda, moda. And I have to really work because I'm waking up. I haven't had my coffee yet. This is the first thing we say before we get out of bed. Moda, give thanks. Ani will I. Give thanks will I. I will give thanks. Moda ani lefanecha. To before you, to you. I will give thanks to you. And then I envision seeing God in the room. Not really seeing him, but sensing his presence. There's a powerful, powerful force here. The most powerful force. The creator of the entire universe is here with me, waiting for me to get out of bed. Living and eternal king. I said king who is living and eternal. Okay? King who is living and eternal. My goodness, that's a lot of power. Why? For you have restored my soul within me. Now when I get to that part, I actually flex my, I get my toes, but I get all crunchier, and I imagine my soul is coming in me. My soul is coming back in me. God is renewing my contract. Get a little abs going here, a little crunch, because I can feel my soul and feel it coming in. This is hard work, and I don't get out of bed until I believe it's actually happening. Then I say, why did you do this? My soul is coming back. You've placed my soul within me. How? Bechemla, with compassion. Whatever's going on today, no matter how hard this day is, you know what's coming. Nothing surprising. You're like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming for Dave. Oh, he's, he's so messed up today because I, this is beyond me. No, he's got it all covered. He knows that no matter how hard my day is, he's ready for me. And he knows that this is the most compassionate thing that could happen, is to give me this day. Not the day I wished for, not the day I wanted, this day. Right? Bechemla, Rabba emunatecha. Great is your faith in me. He gave me this day with compassion because he knows I can do it. Oh my God, that takes a lot of weight off. And now I can go back into Hollywood and do my best and not worry about the results because he's in charge of the results. Wow. Moda ani lefanecha, melechai vikayam, shehekazar tabi, nishmati, bechemla, Rabba emunatecha. And now I can get out of bed because I believe it. Of course, within a couple of minutes, I forget all about it, and then I'm a nervous wreck again, but I can get back to this moment really easily because of the first commandment. Take a step. Believe in God. Try that. And then trust in God. Say the Morani. Don't get out of bed until you feel it and see if it doesn't turn your life around. Happy Shavuos.